I'm going to show you how to reverse waterfall and declog a uh, DX5, I think a DX7 head. So this one's completely clogged. I've just bought this printer second hand. Just literally nothing comes out of it. I mean, it looks a bit of a state. What you're going to need is some um, DTF or DTG compatible unblocker or cleaning fluid. I haven't got much left, but I should have enough here. A plate with a very smooth surface, no imperfections, nothing sticking out. We'll give it a quick clean before we use it. And the first thing we're going to do is going to undo these three screws and remove this metal cover from the head. Once you've removed these three screws, you can take this cage off. And we'll just lift off the head like that. Now there's nothing holding the actual head itself to the manifold. And the manifold is this, all this plastic stuff on the back. So if you give this head a slight tug, it's going to come off the manifold and you'll see the gasket inside. Let me just do that. So that's the head removed from the manifold. And that rubber gasket there, that will peel off. So you're going to take that off, take the manifold and the gasket, basically give them a good clean, use a syringe and a hose to blow all these through because all the ink can be clogged in here as well. So I'm going to go do that now and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I've cleaned the manifold and I've cleaned the gasket. Now, when you're cleaning the manifold, make a mental note if any of the channels are really hard to clear. You're going, to have, you're going to struggle with those channels on the actual head itself when you put it back together to reverse waterfall it. So just make a mental note. And remember, this is not guaranteed to work. This is a last resort. So this is something you do if nothing else has, has worked. Okay, so we put some cleaner on a, in a pot. I'm going to put it on a little swab. I'm just going to try and clean any crud off the face of the head. doesn't look too bad now we've given it a wipe there's a slight scratch in this one but it should be all right it doesn't look like it's delaminated anywhere okay what we're going to do now is we're going to put the gasket back in the head and you'll notice there's some little holes that need to line up when you put it back together it should be quite obvious if not make a a mental note when you take it apart. We're gonna put it back together and we're gonna try and reverse waterfall it. So we're gonna draw fluid from this plate, we're gonna clean this plate, and then we're gonna draw fluid back up through the head using a syringe. So let me put it back together. Okay, so I've reassembled the head. And the reason we've got to have a very flat plate is because we're gonna put the head down face first onto the plate. And we don't want anything to get between the plate and the head, which would damage the, the nozzle plate. So we're going to put the head down like that we're going to put a little bit of cleaning solution down and then i'm going to get a syringe and i'm going to go channel by channel and suck the fluid back up through the head never push it down from the top down because you will blast the, push the nozzle plate off the front of the head with the pressure so we're going to try and suck back up through the head and i'm going to start with this yellow channel because that's the one that was the most clogged if i can draw from that one then the rest should be easy so let me just have a go at drawing that through so when you draw the fluid up, you should see it coming up through the pipe, like that, the bubbles. And then you'll start seeing the, it colorize the fluid in the syringe. You wanna get as much through as possible on each channel. So once you've reassembled your head, you wanna make sure that it's completely dry. Obviously you're gonna draw from all the channels before you decide that you're ready. So, I mean, look, you can see the yellow channel on this now, which was the most clogged one. It's starting to run pretty clear. Um, just go through the channels, drawing up fluid from the plate until you're comfortable. And then before you put it back in your printer, I would advise you to spray a bit of contact cleaner on the, on the contacts for the ribbons there, just to be 100% sure there's no water residue left behind. And even spray the back of the PCB before you put it back together if you can, and then leave it somewhere to dry and do not refit it for a good 24 hours longer if possible because it's quite a high current that's sent to these these heads and if they short out on the board you just either burn out the ribbon burn out the head and blow the fuses on the the main board for the printer but also another little bit of advice is as i said i bought this this cleaner 
And what I do is I get some deionized water, like that, get it from any sort of car place, and I mix it 50-50 to make like a capping fluid. And that's really great for flushing and um, wetting the capping station, etc., and stopping it from drying out. And it's obviously a lot cheaper than wasting this because this is like 12 pounds or what's that, like $16 a bottle. So I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments and um, maybe I'll make another video soon. Cheers, guys.